I'm a pichikari, dulu dulu lali, Shahrukhan has salami, Hanepe Hills, Shamali. That wasn't good. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction series. I'm Gorman. I'm Red Creek Falls on Instagram. It's, the it's so juicy. <laughs> Today we're acting to an old trailer. Old trailers. So old it has narration that talks about the land that time forgot. It's possible. It's a 19... Or the time that land it's forgot. It's a 1993 film. What? Shabu Khan film. Were any of us even born? Uh, 1993 Shabu Khan film. Bazigar. I'm pretty sure this is the one with the trumpet and the Zorro. Mm. I could be wrong. I could be. Let me know if I'm uh, correct. A young man with a vendetta against a business tycoon seduces his young daughter. Ooh. Hold on. I don't know if that gives spoilers. Yeah. These older ones. Yeah, they can do I don't that. know. <laughs> <laughs> but and I, then they all died. The end. Uh, but I know this is one of his negative roles. So, Ooh. like, Dar, right. I know we've done that one. Yeah. This one, I think there's another one where he has a negative role. Uh, but it's directed by Abbas... Uh, say that? Abbas Ali Bai Bermwala. And it's starring Shabur Khan Kajol. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Johnny Lever. Hey. We've seen him before. But anyways, so uh, I don't know how cheesy this uh, trailer is going to be. I'm I hope sure it is. it's not official. Um, but we're going to do it anyway. Good. There it is. Give me the trumpet. Definitely the official trailer. <laughs> you gotta love uh, wow. fan-made uh, trailers. The way he loves is different. <laughs> <laughs> it's how he shows his love. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm down to see Shabu Khan playing a negative role. I I am, but I gotta be I gotta be honest, because that's just the way I am. Seeing these clips really scares me. Yeah. Well, I think it's it's one of those things because we're we're going to watch some ninety show Khan. You kind of have to, kind of have to. But it's it's one of those things you have to put your mindset in. 
Like, and I'm not talking about Shah Rukh Khan. We've actually liked a lot of his acting. We've seen every, a bunch of his films. We've and seen a lot of different of his he, films, He thinks too. he's a really good actor. We know the style of 90s Bollywood, especially 90s Shah Rukh Khan Bollywood. Yes. And so that's, it's very over the top, very melodramatic. So that's what we're talking about. Some people yes. confuse me when I say, like, we don't like Shah Rukh Khan. We love Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> but we know the style of the 90s Bollywood. Uh, yeah. That, that's, that's more of the concern. But it, So it's one of those things that you kind of just... This is gonna happen. Yeah. Just expect it. Yeah. <laughs> and even, but even for me, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard, because even when you're expecting it, you know what it's like? It's like when you go to see, like, five-year-olds playing soccer. Mm. It, better example for me would be like watching, that's, that's, that's actually endearing. Mm -hmm. I would say if you're gonna watch any particular sport where you know the sport really, really well, and it's being by played by those who aren't playing it very well, and you're not going because you're going to enjoy a game. Mm. You're going it because you're just going to root the kids on, as it were. Mm. That's how I feel when I watch those things. It's like, mm. I know that what I'm going to watch is not going to be the, the, the way this is supposed to be done, but I can sit through it because I love the partakers of what's going on here. Yeah, and I think this is one of his earlier stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Like, very early on in his career. Um, so, obviously, it'll be... Let's see. I wonder how early on in his career. It, it's got to be 1993. And the evolution of SRK. Super early. Not the kinds that we've watched where they just give you highlights of their films. But in his evolution as a movie star and as an actor, mm -hmm. when did he start to make a transition? Because there's none of that in My Name is Khan or Swadesh. And... I think it's after he was already an established actor. Yeah, uh, but, and I'm wondering when and why. What was it that created that transformation? I'd love to know that side of the story from him. So it looks because like... Because he's... We've seen him speak. He's very articulate, very intelligent, and... Uh, Looks like I would he, just love to know that part of his story. Interesting. So he, he, he did, like, a couple... He did... His first film was apparently Diwana in 1992. These were both 1993. This was this one and yeah. Dar. So he back clearly back. wanted to do some negative roles. After, I'm guessing, as he did a one, two, three, four, five, six films in 1992, yeah. between 1992 and 1993, which I'm guessing was a big romance... Because obviously what he's known for. Mm. Uh, and then he, he just went on a rampage of being epic Shah Rukh Khan. He did DDLJ. Mm -hmm. He did this Karan Arjun with, uh, that's one with Salman Khan. Uh, and so uh, these big epic romance stuff. Um, How well received were the negative roles? I know they, I think people... From what I've been told, like those are actually some of his better performances, mm. as opposed to his romance ones where he's doing the right. Oh, I love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so obviously, there's a little more nuance there. I would love to talk to him about his career because he has such I would, a, I would a love long to talk to him about established his career. career, and obviously he started and just shot to the stratosphere. Yeah. And so then he's had to think about, you know, he's young. He's a young actor. Doesn't know how long this is gonna last. He's, sure. He doesn't know now. Shah Rukh Khan. Um, and so you had to like, I got to do a bunch of these, yeah, big romance roles, right? Um, and at the time, that's kind of what you yeah, had to do, and especially in Bollywood. And how often, like, I know the way the studio system worked here, where if you were signed in a, for, at a studio back in the nineteen forties, fifties, and sixties, multiple films. Yeah, you were signed on to films. For, you never got a <clears> script, <throat> and you never got a choice. You just signed on for five films, and whatever the studio wanted you in, they put you in, and you were contractually obligated to do those films. So did that happen too as well for Might him have. and other stars where they signed some contracts and just said, I'll do your film, whatever it is? Didn't it, was it SAG that stepped in and kind of helped stop that here? Yeah, any of those things of changes where it was you couldn't just I think the only ones sign that really artist. do it now are like Marvel. Yeah, they, where you're signing on to... Well, multiple. when you sign on to a franchise, that can happen. I don't even know if it... But because I know sometimes it's like, will they be in the next film? They have to agree to it now. So yeah. I don't think it's still. I don't think it happens a lot. But I know, especially, I bet they get like, before Tom Holland was Spider Man, they're like, Tom Holland, we're gonna have you for three Absolutely. films as Spider Man. Well, once Marvel took off after the first Iron Man, yeah, and they started to branch out with Cap and Thor, I I know when they talked to them to sign them up. 
they said, this is going to be a multi-picture deal over the next 10 years. And you're going to be, you're going to do standalones with your star vehicle and the <coughs> franchise as the Avengers. I, I, yeah, I still don't think it happens often. No, very rare, I think. But I, I think it does happen sometimes. I think the most common thing that happened today would be you sign on as a project and, and they know going in, we want this to be a trilogy. Yeah. And so you're agreeing to be in all three films. Unless it's Lord of the Rings and they just film all at the same time. True. <laughs> we have, Andy Serkis thought that was going to be two weeks of work. <laughs> He like, thought it was going to be two weeks of voice work when he auditioned for it. That's what he thought. It was like two years. It was t and life changing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so let us know about this film. Uh, what should be the next Shah Rukh Khan film? Uh, I I know I know some of his, his classics, and we will we will get to some of them, uh, and we will put should our should be the world's India's longest running. Is it the world's longest running or just India's longest? Am I, I think it's the it world's be the world. longest running. Yeah, with him uh, control. It's DDLJ. Yeah. Uh, I skimmed it. I do that sometimes. I'll skim films just to like, I, I'll put it like at 27 minutes just to see what the acting looks like. Yeah. Wow. I, it, didn't, I didn't know that about you. It doesn't look bad. I'm disgusted. And you should thank me. I've saved us from stuff. <laughs> Da 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 da